on some cameras, there's a setting called zebra stripes. Zebra stripes are an exposure tool designed specifically for overexposed highlights or also known as clipping. As opposed to watching your histogram go too far to the right, zebra stripes tell you exactly where on the image you're pushing your highlights too far. Depending on your needs, you may need to change the settings on the camera or the brightness of the lights. To better explain how this works, we have Tyler over here in a white sweater. Now, it's going to help us figure out exactly when we're going to clip our highlights and where on our image we're going to clip our highlights. Now, some cameras will have this feature built in, like the Sony a7 III or the R5 or R6. So check your camera's manual to see if this feature is available on your camera. Just to keep things simple, we're actually using a Nikon Z6 as well as an Atomos Ninja V recorder. So as we have Tyler sitting here now, he's pretty well exposed. We're shooting at 1 200th of a second, f4, at ISO 640. So it looks pretty good already. We see on the screen he's pretty well exposed. Now what if we were to overexpose him a little bit? You can certainly see on the screen that it's overexposed, but what if you're shooting outside and your screen is not bright enough and you're still trying to judge where exactly it is that you're overexposing? You may have somebody that's wearing a white sweater like this or a white button-down business shirt, and you may not be able to tell whether or not that that's clipping or it's just bright on your screen. Because at the end of the day, you want to make sure that your footage is usable. Sometimes you can't go back and reshoot. Now what we're going to do on the Atomos Ninja V here is we're going to turn on our zebra stripes. So it's going to be this icon right here. What we're going to do is enable that. So right now we can see our, his face is overexposed. Of course, the, the sweater is very overexposed. Now what we're going to do, I want to go into our settings here and see this is set to 95%. So you can set this threshold to be a different number uh, if you want to move it over to anywhere from 50 to 75, 80%. You can set this threshold level depending on what you're trying to expose for. At 95 to 100%, that's really good for making sure your highlights aren't clipped. And if you move it down to about 75, 80%, that's good for most lighter skin tones. If you've used a DSLR or mirrorless camera in the photo side and it has a highlight warning, this is very similar to that, where you'll see that flashing red or, flash, or flashing white uh, to show where you've blown out your highlights. This is a very similar type of idea. And so his skin's already overexposed, so we're going to uh, stop that down. We're just changing our shutter speed. We can change uh, aperture if you need to or ISO. We're starting to underexpose, but his sweater is actually looking quite nice. We're able to see the movement in that sweater. And if we go all the way down to where that starts to really go away, well, we're pretty heavily underexposing the entire image. So let's get it right back here. So we'll switch it to 100%, make sure it's enabled. So 100% is, there's no more data, it's solid white. I'd probably say that's as far as I would want to go. We want to see some highlights in his shirt, but not too much. So no matter how you use it, this is a useful function. This is non-destructive. It will not show up in your final video. This is only to see on the back of the screen for exposure purposes. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, my name is Tyler with Bedford Camera and Video, and we hope to see you on the next video.